we've been lucky at a lot of Fontaine specific stuff because there's a new region coming out soon, right? And we are all excited about the brand new region. Something that I've never seen is what Genshin Impact looked like on release. Like I've heard about some stuff, but I've never seen it. There is a video by Akashot called Are There Even 1.0 Genshin Players That Will Remember This? Which goes over like apparently a lot of the OG Genshin stuff and shows a lot of uh, a lot of really cool things. It sounds interesting. I've never seen it. So it'll be, it'll be good to watch before Fontaine just to see how far we've come, you know? Some of you might feel nostalgia. Some of you might feel shock. And I don't know what I'm going to feel because I don't think I'll know everything here. So we'll see. You guys remember when Gooba looked like this? Venti shot. Oh, we're off to a fucking strong start. That's not real, right? Beta? That was real? Gobo is a panda? Holy! Venti shot a black hole. Shall know the lay plunge? What? They should have kept that. Ayaka jumps out and cuts your head off? What? Wait, what? What the hell? Mona? <laughs> Mona? Jesus. Okay. Yeah. There are so many Genshin content about how to build wow. characters. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to my complete Genshin Impact review and guide. Lore, that was Mona. summons, commentaries, yep. reaction, Hu Tao kiss, all the usual. But I don't really see anyone document and record a recollection of... We love the Hu Tao kiss. ...the past. A part of me does feel sad knowing that the early versions and memories of what used to be my whole quarantine is dead. <laughs> that Genshin is long gone and you either don't know or weren't there when it happened. Wow, look at that, dude. The Genshin Impact pre-registration page. Join three million other travelers. Holy. Part of me wishes I was around for this point, but another part of me realizes I got very lucky with like getting into Genshin when I did get into Genshin and having like the backdated content and stuff. This is cool though. But I was there, so I will try my best to document what really happened and how it affects LeBron's legacy. Wow, this guy be playing. So Akashot's been playing since what September the twenty eighth, twenty twenty. Is that when Genshin released? <laughs> My experience with Genshin one point oh. Uh oh. This game came out at a time where yeah. everything was shit. Online classes. Good evening and shit. It's like ten forty nine p.m. You got oh, viruses no. and vitamins everywhere. Everyone. Oh yeah, dude. Part of me forgets that uh that Genshin released at like the height of COVID, right? I think. And a lot of people kind of uh attributed a lot of the success to that as well. Quarantine helped Genshin a lot. Yeah, wow, okay. One's just fucking depressed, no money, staying inside all day. <laughs> well that's just every year. And when we had just a few months left in 2020 to say goodbye and forget about all that happened. Yeah. This Genshin. Genshin. I don't really know Genshin what that says about fact. me if my highlight of 2020 was a gacha game coming out, but hey, I'll take it. The release of Genshin really brought me back to a time where I was genuinely excited to play something rather than just playing a game because I have nothing to do. Bro, holy shit. The realness in that statement is insane. I ain't gonna cap chat with every single MMO that I have ever played. Uh, from the old RS days to Final Fantasy to ESO to, to World of Warcraft to all of the MMOs that I've played. I loved them for the first couple of months and then they always ended up just being a game that I played because there was just nothing else to do. And I got bored and, and burnt out and quit them and left them and hated it. And then I got into Kingdom Hearts and the same thing happened, dude. I beat Kingdom Hearts. I beat the whole story and all of them. And then I was like, okay, what now? I'll do challenge runs. And I did randomizers and level one runs. And it's like, I'm just doing it because there's nothing else for me to, that I want to do at this point. Ever since I started playing Genshin, I've never had that feeling, dude. Genshin has kept me hooked since day fucking one of playing this game. And it's such a blessing that we get updates so often. I say it all the time. And we also have Star Rail now as well. It, it, it's just incredible, dude. It really is. You're glad that I stuck with Genshin? I'm glad I stuck with Genshin. And it's free to play? <laughs> I got to Liwa in one day. What? And the day after, I already maxed out the statue. What? Yeah, that's illness. <laughs> What? You maxed out the statue in a day? Okay, Jesus Christ. At one, the release. What the fuck, dude? Cat. <laughs> PS4 players got exclusive weapons and gliders. A little bit of cross-platform discrimination, but I'll let that slide for how fun the game was for the first week. The okay, map fair. at the time felt like it stretches out all the way to China. If you enhance weapons, the leftover EXP just dies. Like, you don't get any back. You actually had to eat food because your team didn't have a healer back. Hey, I still have to eat food, but I blame that on random co-op, okay? Then, downloading the game was slow as shit. I remember the life hack was to pause and unpause to get your internet back. One Boost was telling me about this. Apparently with the initial release of Genshin, even though it was only like 11 or 12 gigs, dude, apparently the download took like 24 hours plus. It took like over a day. 
for like most people because so many people were trying to get onto the game. Is that true? And people used to pause and pause and it used to take the timer down and then go straight back up. That's insane to me, dude. That is wild. Crazy, dude. It was slow as shit. I remember the life hack was to pause and unpause to get your internet back. 120 <laughs> resin. <laughs> Do we need to talk about this? <laughs> Holy shit. Did things cost the same? Like, actually? Oh, God. Like, I understand that the world was smaller, there wasn't as much to do, but there was enough to do that you could have used the 160 at the bare minimum for resin, dude. My goodness. Also, no condensed resin. There was no co- Classic. Sending your characters on an expedition <laughs> made them unplayable in-game. Yeah, y'all, y'all told me about this, dude. Holy, that doesn't seem enjoyable, dude. That's horrendous. That's so bad. You think I'm joking? But if you send Klee to no, the mines, she's literally in the mines, spending <laughs> 20 hours for like what, eight stone? When some. I think that would have been a fine thing to do if you could go in the open world and go find your characters out there doing some little handiwork. You know, that'd have been cool. But no, it, it was literally just, nope, yoink, out of the game, unplayable. Somebody talked about their most hated or least played character, you would tell them to send them on expedition. Artifacts <sighs> dropped on the floor, so every time you do a domain, you gotta pay respect to that shit like 10 times. And it Wait, what? Wait, when you did artifact domains, you ha it dropped the artifacts on the ground and you had to pick them all up? Ain't no way, dude. Wait, what if Venti like bursted off the edge? Would it suck the ball off? Yes. <laughs> That's incredible. Holy shit, dude. If you want to be the cause of someone's mental breakdown, here you go. Be the host. Now get an animal character with some oh, no. suction. <laughs> now whip out that shit and suck all the artifacts into the void. Yeah. No. Leave right away. If you are a host and you leave, Everyone leaves. So you just minus five someone's life away because you got to realize back then nobody did damage. So your average domain time was way longer compared to today. The game was also pretty buggy. I mean, that's to be expected, but there was this venti oh, bug God. where you hold E, open camera, hide character, and he just Y axis indefinitely. <laughs> yeah, that's a thing. Hey, that's not the worst thing I've seen. People people do crazier glitches even nowadays, dude. It's kind of wild. Once you've had enough, you just leave the camera and you would think, oh, he'll just be on the ground. No, he TPs to that location. <laughs> venti? No. Klee? Remember these limited banners? Klee's walk was actually changed. She got- Bro. Bro. I've seen this. Dude. The old walk is so much better. And a lot of people were saying that they prefer the new walk. Bro, I think the old walk is so much better. I'm gonna turn my cam off so you can actually see this. In fact, no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my cam in the middle of the screen. Look at the difference between this, dude. I think the old walk is so much more Klee. ETP to that Watch location. this. Venti? No. Klee? Remember these limited banners? Klee's walk was actually changed. She got that marching band uh, gate, you know? <laughs> Why change walk if cute? Well... Yeah! Why change walk if cute? I agree! That's what I'm saying. On the topic of Klee, <laughs> one of the classic Klee defining moments of this era that cement itself in Genshin history was the M-Tash trilogy. The what? Is Klee worth it? <laughs> I spent... $2,000 on Klee. Oh no. Klee is not worth it, right? Klee sucks. <laughs> this became one of the top Genshin posts on Reddit of all time to this day. Hey, that's fucking funny though. That's fucking funny. That is good. Now that. That's content. Word, that's a classic. Yeah, that's, list, anyone? that's content. Nope. So Genshin GG used to be that website you go to for information and guides. And they were... Okay, I guess. Nowadays, okay. there's like a million Genshin GGs. GG! They released this 1.0 tier list, and the thing with these tier lists is that every time... Yo, my boy Deluke in the fucking S tier, dude. Wait, Bennett in B? Wait, holy, holy shit. Wait a minute. Sing show me B? Oh, okay. GG in S? Wait, there's just a minefield in the comment section. You can't please everybody, except this one. This one doesn't please anybody. It's not their fault. No one knew what was going on in 1.0. Take me, for example. Two years in, and I still don't know what's going on. I found an old recording of me playing during these times. Just look at the way I played this fight out. A touch of frost. Here we go. 
Yeah, I think I'm eSport ready. This was the day of <laughs> physical shangling and fischl. Fischl, damn it. You guys think it's troll. I never want to hear that phrase ever again. What's the day of physical shangling and fish? I, I lied. I do want to hear it again. That's why I rewound. Sure. Fishical, damn it. You guys think it's troll, but back then, this shit was the Wild West. No artifacts, just spam attack on everything, and go. I'm not even kidding. Crescent Pike Shang Ling carried so many players back then. Oh, and let's not forget when the banner looked like this. It looks better. I'm just gonna say it. This design aesthetic is way better than the current one. It just is. The colors contrast a lot better, and you still have all the other characters at the bottom as well. I think this is just way better. And it's not because I'm uh, down horrendous for DeLuca or anything. I just genuinely think the color patterns look so much better than the current one. You see this guy right here? He was that guy back then. He still is, dude. He still is that guy. He's my guy, you know? My boy. Yeah, he's badass. Oh, what do you mean back then? No, he's, no. he's summoning bubbles. <laughs> oh, hold up. Not the bubbles. Oh, chill, chill. What? He's just a bubble. It's just a oh, bubble. Oh, hell no. Jesus, man. Why are you so mad? Because he's cool. He throws out a fucking chicken. I gotta say, though. That's not a chicken. It's a, it's a fucking, it's a fucking fire chicken. I'm not into hot men. I like them much cooler. We also had an event where- <laughs> You know what, honestly, based. Uh, both of them are cool as fuck, but yeah. Chicken. I gotta say though, I'm not into hot men. I like them much cooler. We also had an event where if you reach AR20, you get a free Barbara. Oh yeah, and if you get AR- <laughs> Fuck, what was it? If you get AR16, no, the fucking, what's the fucking- 34, yeah, if you get AR34, you get a free Ayaka as well. 42, that was it. It's 42, not 34. AR42 for a free Ayaka? People told me about that. <laughs> I don't care what you guys say. Barbara is actually good element. That's that's cap. That is straight up cap. Akashaw, I'm sorry. Listen, I thought this bitch had a fucking dragon spine, okay? This bitch fucking throws me left and right. Left, right, up, down. Fuck it, it was like a GTA cheat code out there, dude. Our first gameplay event, and it was only co-op. You kill monsters, they drop cubes, put the cube in the oven, do it enough times and you win. Now if you- <laughs> That's kinda lit, can we get that back? You didn't play during those times? Well, then that's really good. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> but you know, back in the old days, <gasps> we had to pay for everything, even for event rewards. I never. I changed my mind. I don't want it back. Don't bring it back. Don't bring it. Keep it locked away. Throw away the fucking key, Hoyaverse. Throw away the fucking key. Burn it. Yeah, you want those heroes' wits? You gotta pay it up. Jesus Christ. I think they're free nowadays, right? Not back then. Not back then. Back then they weren't free. Oh God, I'm sorry. So what you're telling me is that they're basically ley lines with gameplay. Despite that. <laughs> He's not wrong. I had a ton of fun. I remember playing this shit like an MMORPG. Everyone played their shitty D loop kaching venti. Oh look. Bitch, I never want to hear the word shitty and Daluk next to each other ever again. I have always treated Genshin with a specific mindset. And honestly, I think it's done me the world of good. I don't treat Genshin as a gacha game. <laughs> For the most part. I understand that's why, like, content is dry every now and then. When I play Genshin, I treat it as an open world RPG with a side element of gacha. And I have a lot more fun with it. I don't go for rewards all the time. If I miss rewards, I don't really care that much. I have so much more fun with it that way. I think it's fucking phenomenal. I, I, I literally do just see it as, a, as an RPG with a little bit of co-op and stuff with a little bit of gacha. You can go through the entire game without spending any money like a lot of people have and do perfectly fine, you know? Played their shitty d loop ka nope. venti. Oh, look at me. I want to be the main character. I want to do big damage. And looking at our team's draft, there was always a lack of support. And you know me... That happens nowadays as well, dude. Being the guy who doesn't want to spend three minutes just to fail and get nothing. I got locked into Barbara every game <laughs> just to heal so they won't die. Yeah, now, that, that must suck. That's a classic. Now, if you aren't yet convulsing from all the nostalgia, it was around this time where conspiracy theories started to float around. Oh, hey. what? I say, uh... Oh, no. <laughs> Chapter two, conspiracy. So you had a bunch of people go around and spread just a little bit of misinformation about chess respawning. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, you know, I was walking my dog on the roof of Favonia's headquarters when suddenly a golden chest just popped out of nowhere. This is definitely not my first time seeing it. Yeah. And then people would take a picture and say, damn, infinite chess glitch. I love how people just outright believe this shit. I too could also confirm they respawn. All you have to do is find a chest and take a fucking picture, dude. It's not proof you believed this. <laughs> uh, yeah, and gullibles written on the ceiling. 
<laughs> God damn it, Revolk. Oh. Lumine is canon, but Ether is canon uh. <laughs> what does that mean? What does it mean? I don't get it. Ba ba da ba. Jesus. Wow. Wow, people milk the shit out of this, dude. What? They had a three part series. We got a chest respawn. Oh my fucking god. This is insane. Or the one in the bank. Holy shit. This was everywhere at the time. So many people were saying, oh my god, make sure you come back to the bank uh, yeah. every few days. Like it was a welfare office. Oh, get your free 200k injection every week. Thank every you, week. China. I mean, with all the theories and every skits so close about the golden chest, I actually started to doubt myself. Maybe I'm wrong. So I boot up Genshin, and you know what? I'll never trust the internet ever again. Then, T-H-E-N, you had quite possibly one of the biggest trollations of all time. A R. <laughs> <laughs> who could have seen this coming? Dude, who the fuck started this rumor? Which motherfucker did it? And just sent the whole Genshin community into shambles, dude. Does he say? 42 Ayaka. Did you know? To celebrate Genshin, we decided to give out a free 5-star limited character. I repeat, a free 5-star limited character. Said no one. Literally nobody ever said it, did they? All you gotta do is get AR42, finish all the quests in Liwa, and Ayaka is yours. No catch, no strings attached. She doesn't expire after 30 days. This all stemmed from the- In Liwa as well? Wait, that doesn't even make sense. Chinese beta patch notes before the game even came out globally. The people saw a post about a beta and assumed, well, I mean, if they did it in test, they'll do it in live. New event rewarding character. Not sure how the name should be localized officially. Claim after AR42 and completed all main quests in Liyue City. Oh, so that was just for beta stuff? Interesting. Damn, how far could you get in beta, dude? Hey, so you had a bunch of Reddit posts, YouTube videos, and just this kerfuffle of shit everywhere about free AR42 Ayaka. I tried searching for videos, but knowing how big of a sham... <laughs> Sham. Sham. All the Genshin tubers just got rid of them. So to summarize, the only thing you should get out of this is that you are not allowed to shit talk Ayaka. <laughs> we got it for free. You Genshin players won't remember when we got Ayaka for free at AR42. God damn it, Zyx. don't know that. God damn it, Mr. Sox. The phone incident. Wait, what? That's not my problem. Huh? It's yours. So back in my day, there was three ways to log into Genshin. Email, username, and your phone. Uh oh, oh ho, 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 ho. I signed up. Wait, they removed mobile? Up with the usual email and username. But you know me, I wanted more security, protection, getting hacked and losing weeks of my progress. GG. GG. So I linked my phone number to my account. One day I logged out of Genshin and guess what happened? No, like, like seriously, guess what happened? Uh, your phone exploded. Right in the middle was my phone number. Oh my god, your username was your fucking phone number. That ain't no way. <laughs> no blur, no towel, butt ass naked. Even if you sign up with an email or username, ain't phone no number way. is higher priority, so it shows it. Right there. <laughs> Bro, if this was a thing nowadays, dude, I'd be getting calls all the time like, yo, can I have some Primo gems, please? I already get fucking emails and Discord DMs about it. Imagine getting phone calls. In front of me, in the login screen. Hi, if anyone sees this, give me a call. Yeah. <laughs> and I got... Uh, let's not talk about that anymore. Holy... You should ah. be able to claim it. If you did the, If you did the card on that account, then you should be able to claim. Oh, the number is my phone number. <laughs> I didn't realize. What the fuck? Yeah, uh, you got dark sneak your phone number. <laughs> this wasn't yeah, live, right? Everything. Wow, Jeez. okay. If you link your phone number, it just shows it. They fixed it. No, no. Optimize. Let's use their word. A month later, in a small one. That was live? No way. So he just docks himself on stream? Oh, God. God, that's wild, dude. Point zero point one maintenance. They optimized the PC client to increase MiHoYo account security. Thank you, MiHoYo. Imagine Thanks. being a streamer in one. What was that character? Oh, is this like the the MiHoYo mascot? I guess. Thank you, MiHoYo. Oh, interesting. Imagine being a streamer in one point and you accidentally showed the title screen. <laughs> yeah, guys, the stream's not over, but my phone plan sure is. The game was new. Yeah. There was a lot of bad things that were in the game that shouldn't have been there. But take everything I just said and get that shit out of here.
for Arc 3, Genshin Impact. I spent hours downloading the game only to see Lumine get put in a box and it was... Yeah, and you're going to play for three more years and she's still going to be in that box technically. Well, you, you're barely going to see her anyway. Worth it. Waking up on that beach like, man, where's my sister? It's like, surely one of the Arkans will tell you. Is he talking to a drag? Giving yes. a homeless lady a chicken skewer? That first time you walked into Monsat with that exaggerated swagger of a blonde traveler? Getting your wind glider? Oh, shit, what the hell? Meeting Bro. Kai. I- <laughs> Sorry. When I saw this, this is fucking lit. I'd obviously watched the, uh, the trailers and stuff. But when I got to the part of the game where you could like fight Davalin and and in the in the flying scene and shit, dude, that was so cool. I'm kind of surprised we've never had anything like that again, even as just a one-off in a in a quest. This is on YouTube, yeah. I'll, I'll link the video. Meeting Kaya for the first time. No. Dude, he had cake there. What happened, dude? Oh shit! What the hell? Meeting Kaya for the. Yo, where did cake go? Did he sit down too hard? You ate it. Oh. First time, Noelle greeting you. The first time you open up summons, Amber, Kaya, Lisa domain were a blast to play. This domain yeah. is literally a blast to This was sick and we finally got something like this back in, in Sumeru in the previous event. Finally, it only took two and a half years. Play. Stealing a cup, giving it oh, lotion. Remember when these guys were the scariest shit in the game? When you couldn't explore the Thousand Wind Temple because of this piece of shit. Holy shit, that wow, island true. is so far away. Let me go and fly to it and check it out. Nope. I never made it. <laughs> or when you fell down and you found this dude only to realize that you're not supposed to be there. Or the Dude, I like this guy. And you know what I don't know why I like this guy? Cause he does what I do. Like I can't I can't always keep super serious, but it's like you can hear the laugh in the voice, and it's like the holding back the laughter and the, the just the undeniable laugh, and it's just so fucking funny. I love hearing other people laugh, it makes me happy. Made it. Or when you fell down Wait, and listen. to it and check it out. I never made it. Or when you fell down Even and just you the found this dude dude only to great. realize that you're not supposed to be there. Or that one time you brought someone to a cliff and killed them. <laughs> not the Klee tennis. Oh my god, they've even got the net. Infiltrating cold people. Oh. Trying out d Luke for the first time. Being in the ocean, but you're about to drown, so you go... <laughs> Emergency food? Yep. <laughs> no. Lisa climbing. No. Yeah. That's actually a classic. Trying to figure out how to destroy these shitty dummies. Seeing this every time you open up the launcher. That Wait, feeling really? of being lost and clueless. Always switching an amber into the party so you could light puzzles and campfires. True. I Even I did that. Bone of my sword. There was no dragon spine. Wait, dragon spine wasn't even out? Came at 1.2. Wait, y'all had nothing to do. <laughs> You'll have nothing to fucking do for two patches, dude. Jesus. Well, actually, okay. The monster Arco quest was 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 that finished by 1.2? Oh, you had Liwa. Wait, you guys had Liwa before Dragon Spine. Liwa finished in 1.1. What? So 1.0? Did you have Monstar's Archon quest full, and then in 1.1 one you had leo's arc on quest in full holy shit never mind you y'all had a shitload of content holy fuck did <laughs> y'all had endless content never mind you had to walk everywhere this was quite possibly the most menacing place to ever exist watching True. down oculus videos and noting down every single one you know i never did that i never looked up videos i always just used the compass and then had co-op people come in and help because it was fun and going to bed like Ah oh, shit! What? Nah. Resin is cat. That stamina bar. What is it? Remember when I said these guys were the scariest? I take it back. <laughs> what the fuck? No, but you need to save up a lot. Like, if you want guaranteed 100% pity, it's 180 pulls. Oh, they haven't even gotten onto the wishing side of it yet. Wait. Yeah. Wait, no, isn't it 90? Ah oh, shit! <laughs> Dude. Oh, that's accurate. That's accurate to, for newer players. Bro, you y'all had to explain the fucking pity system to me so many times, dude. I remember it took me so long because the pity's different on, on each banner though as well. It made it very confusing. Here we go again. When you finally finish the Mondstadt quest line and your next stop is talking to Catherine in Liwa. That initial journey from Don Winery, the landscape slowly changing. Oh, dude, this was so you pretty. In, the orange plains, your map is just void. And finally, just as you are approaching the harbor, the music kicks in. Oh. 
and you just see a whole new city crossing the bridge, boats, the people are different. After 10 years of walking, you finally reach Catherine, figuring out how to reach the top of Qingyang Peak. Dandy glide challenges, random ass kid in a forest. Oh. <laughs> You thought one ruined guard was bad? Holy oh, shit! Oh yeah, sure. Fuck, get me out of here! Ah. This bullshit ass quest? <laughs> Which one do I- That was a great quest. A hit! Let's see. <laughs> well, this guy can go kiss my ass! <laughs> Chingsa Village OST. It is a banger OST. It is good. It is good. And once you've explored everything, it's finally time for this shit. I remember collecting all the Geoculus for the pillar because this was the only... Geoculus might have been the most annoying Oculi to collect. Oh, okay, actually, hold on. I think the Inazuma ones are really bad as well. The Geoculus dude, having to find them for all the pillars and stuff as well. Jesus Christ. Dendro? I don't think Dendro are that bad so far. But by the time you've got to the regions, you don't really need them urgently, right, for Dendro? So it's fine. You've already got your stamina maxed out and, and stuff. Wow, it's gonna make you do a million damage. Then you climb the pillar and your character fucking dies. Yeah. I spent hours in this room. I just want to mention one more thing. The game came out, but you know what else also came out at the exact same time? Some say a few are chosen and the rest are dregs. But I say we humans yeah. have our humanity. We will defy this world with a oh. power from beyond. <laughs> And as of recording this video, 3.6 just came out. I did all of that shit in 1.0. One last thing I forgot to mention Still is that no in dang. the Archon Quest, a lot of people said that this lady right here was going to be a playable character. <laughs> That's where it ends. That was a roller coaster, dude. That was a roller coaster. I'm actually glad people recommended that. Like I say, I assume a lot of you guys would find it pretty nostalgic. For me, it wasn't really nostalgic, but it was very... Um, it was very interesting to see for sure. Make sure you check it out. Go subscribe to Arca Shot. They're almost at 100k, which is very pog.